the nightmare that we face is that for no particularly clearly defined reason, we just continue to bring more and more troops into Afghanistan, we see more and more deaths, we spend more and more money, and nobody is quite clear about what we are trying to accomplish or what our exit strategy is. Hi, Senator Sanders. I wanted to ask you about the recent proposal to increase the number of troops in Afghanistan. Um, is this necessary to fight al-Qaeda? Or should we use uh, or focus more instead uh, on helping Pakistan uh, fight Al Qaeda instead of increasing the number of troops in, uh, and the number of troops in Afghanistan? Rick, thanks very much for that important question. Um, we are now in our ninth year in Afghanistan, ninth year, and that is longer than we engaged in World War II, where we ended up defeating Nazi Germany and Imperial Japan. Uh, as of this moment, we have lost more than 800 troops. We have spent well over $200 billion. Uh, as everybody knows, the original intent and the reason for going into uh, Afghanistan was to capture or kill Osama bin Laden, the, perpetuate, the man who uh, led the attack on 9-11 on against us. Uh, that mission has failed. And I think as a nation, what we really need to do right now is some very hard thinking as to A, what our goals are right there. It, it's not just capturing Osama bin Laden anymore. What are our goals? And we need to bring clarity to that. And second of all, uh, we need to be thinking about an exit strategy. Uh, how do we bring our troops home and when does that occur? Clearly, what we do not want is 10 years from now or five years from now from continuing this discussion about a war that never ends, about a quagmire that just sucks more and more of our troops uh, into that country. Uh, when we discuss Afghanistan, what we have to be mindful of is, for a start, the government that we're dealing with, the Karzai government, is widely regarded as a corrupt government. The recent election that they held uh, is suspected by most observers to be extremely uh, fraudulent. Uh, and there is some question as to who won that election. Uh, and there is a growing belief that Karzai does not have the respect and the support of large numbers of people uh, in Afghanistan. Second of all, we have to be mindful when we pour money into that country for military purposes or for the rebuilding of that, that nation, that it is the economic uh, structure is also extremely corrupt and a lot of money is being stolen. And in addition to that, we are knowledgeable uh, and aware that Afghanistan is now producing a huge amount of poppy seed which is being converted into heroin, which is now ending up on the streets of cities in America and all over the world. So to my mind, what has to happen right now is A, no more troops going into Afghanistan. Uh, I am not at all impressed by the call of some for 40,000 more troops without any clarity as to what our goals may be and what a timeline for uh, exit, exit strategy is. Uh, and second of all, we need that debate. What do we hope to accomplish uh, in Afghanistan? Clearly, we are mindful uh, of the fact that uh, we have got to do everything that we can uh, to defeat uh, international terrorism and al-Qaeda, uh, and that furthermore, the Taliban is an extremely reactionary organization that treats women as, as fifth-class citizens. Uh, but within that context, what is the best way of protecting the American people? What is the best way of taking on the Taliban? What is the best way of addressing al-Qaeda, which is now primarily in Pakistan, uh, not in uh, Afghanistan? These are a whole lot of questions that have got to be dealt with before we, still, we, we, we continue pouring uh, troops and money into that country. So uh, we, we need a, a fundamental debate that's long overdue and I intend to be uh, an active participant uh, in that debate. Rick, thanks very much for that question.